Hello, my friends. This is Mr. Fujito here, and uh, today I'll be, I'll be uh, showing you guys. <coughs> Actually, not necessarily today, but through the period of of episodes, I will be showing you guys how to make a 2D game in Unity. So, for starters, you should be starting out with an empty project, nothing in it at all. Um, make sure your project is set to 2D mode, and if you don't know. You can double check uh, by doing two things. Number one is in your scene view, set this little 2D gizmo, make sure it's at 2D. Also go to edit, project settings, and editor, and make sure the mode is set to 2D. And then you should be good. Okay, so another tool that you're going to need for this is Photoshop. Uh, if you have an alternate to Photoshop, that would work as well, but you just have to make sure that uh, it supports transparent backgrounds. Okay, so let's get started. F f the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create some sort of some sort of ground. So I guess we're going to be making like a, a 2D kind of Minecraft game. <coughs> so if we want to make a ground, we got to make some textures first. So let's make a sprite sheet here. So new 128, 128. I'm going to call this SPR underscore tile set. Make sure transparent is set to true. Oh, transparent and OK. OK, so now we can zoom in. Go all the way to the corner and I'm going to make my textures in 16 by 16. So let's get started here. Let's just pick a random color, a, a green, and let's just go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and down. View show all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Now just outline this here and fill bucket. Okay, so now we're gonna make I suppose dirt. So let's pick a brownish kind of color. It's an ugly brown. Let's go with something better. There we go. This is a bit better. Okay, now we want to add some details. So just put some random stuff around. I mean, it's dirt. It, it's not supposed to look nice. And a bit of grayish kind of blobs there we are I'm just gonna pull out the smoothing tool here or smudging tool and just smudge this around so that it looks nicer and there we are now we can rename layer 1 to dirt and then I'll select this whole thing copy and paste and we'll put it right here and now rename the new layer one sorry rename it to grass and now we'll just add some green There we go, now time to add a bit of darker shades. And let's smooth that out first like this. Then we'll go like this. Okay, and that should be good. So file, save as, and go to your sprites, actually go to assets, delete this, make a new folder, call it sprites, and save it in there as a PSD and a PNG. So I'll save it here as a PSD, and then I'll go ex sorry, not export, save as, and then PNG, save. Okay. 
Now if we go back to Unity, here we got a sprites folder with this SPR underscore tile set. Actually, I think my Photoshop is working fine now because before it was messing up and it was like inverting colors and everything and it was messed up. Okay, so now we have our SPR underscore tile set here. And of course, because it is sprite sheet, it means it has multiple sprites in the texture. So you want to set the sprite mode from single to multiple. Now the next thing we want to do is set the pixels to units to 16. Now you might be wondering why we're doing this, and that is because, first of all, we're drawing our textures in 16 by 16, so there's a bit of a relation there. And what pixels to units means is how many pixels will be stretched across one unity unit. So from here to here, 16 units will be stretched across. 16 pixels, sorry. So so one te one of these little blocks will fit perfectly into the box here. Now we want to set our filter mode from bilinear to point so that it preserves hard edges. Our max size should be 128 because it doesn't need to be that big because after all the texture size is 128 by 128. And the format should be 16 bits so that it doesn't alter the color. Actually we can keep compressed because we want the game to run nice. Now if we open the sprite editor, here we've got our sprite, we can zoom in and select from corner to corner to point out our sprites that we've just made. Now let's hit apply and close. Now you'll notice if we open up this, we've got two sprites here. I'm going to drag in each one into our scene view here. Now I did lie, it's not going to stretch across this whole thing, but if I do zoom in, you'll notice that there's these new little lines going here and they do fit exactly in those. So I'm going to zero out the coordinates for this and I will zero out the coordinates for this plus of course one on the x-axis. There we go. Now they're right next to each other locked tight. So for the grass we want to first of all rename, rename this to grass or block underscore gr grass, not glass, sorry. And now for this one, we want to do block underscore dirt. Okay. And we'll rename them, or sorry, we'll tag them, and we'll create a tag called block. And we'll tag this one as block, and we'll tag this one as block. Now we want to create a new sorting layer, because with Unity sorting layers, instead of dealing with Zs, it automatically does this more efficient way called sorting layers so we'll use sorting layers so we'll go here sorting layer <laughs> I swear to god I said sorting layer like 15 times in 10 seconds uh, anyways add sorting layer <laughs> plus and we'll call this tile set this is for all the blocks actually you know what we'll go ahead and call this blocks okay so now we'll set the sorting layers for both of these two blocks. Okay, now I want to, first of all, actually let's create some colliders. So add component physics 2D box collider. And grass, add component physics 2D box collider. Okay, and so now what I want to do is I want to create a folder here called scripts. And this will basically consist <clears throat> of the backbone for our game. So uh, as for scripting, I'm going to be coding in JavaScript for now. However, if any of you who are watching this video prefer C Sharp, I am flexible and I can do both. So if you prefer C Sharp, I can upload, uh, I can re-upload kind of the series and kind of, uh, kind of re-code everything. Or maybe I can just... Uh, upload a media fire link with the C sharp version so you can follow along but then use the C sharp copy because they're the two codes are very um uh the, the syntax between them is very similar sort of in a way so it's not that easy to transfer I mean it is easy to transfer so I mean the knowledge is applicable to both of them so this one we'll call block of course because everything is named block in this game So basically this will store data for a block, i.e. the hit points. Um, 
how many seconds need the mouse needs to be held on the block in order for it to break. For example, in Minecraft, if I punch dirt with my fist, it'll go in about a second and a half. However, if I try to break stone with my fist, it'll take much longer. So I'm not sure if this is opening or not, so I'll just click on it again. Okay, don't be alarmed with the way my mono develop looks. If you want yours to look like this, simply go win uh sorry, tools, options, syntax highlighting, and choose monokai rather than default. And then hit OK. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly adjust this here. Okay, so we want to create some variables here. First of all, var uh block tag string and by default it can be untagged okay and now var actually yeah var hit points equals integer and we'll just do one for now okay <clears throat> and that's literally that that's enough as we that's as much as we need for now oh one more thing actually yeah, no, we don't. That's as much as we need for now. So now drag the block script to the block dirt and to block grass. And now these two are ready to be put in as prefabs. So let's create a new folder. Prefabs. Let's make a new folder in here just to be nice and tidy called blocks. And we'll drag both of these in here. Oh, we have to do them one by one. Okay. Wait, what have I just done? Oh yeah, pretty fast blocks. Never mind. Got scared there for a second. Okay, we could delete these two. We'll move the grass in. And we can create a little base for our character to walk on. There we go. That's that's a nice base. Okay, that's fine. And now, oh, one moment. Main camera. You should probably have one. If you do not, like me, just add one. Make sure the projection is orthographic and zero it out. I generally like the size to be a bit larger than five. The Z also needs to be negative ten or negative something. Um, yeah, my I, I generally like size to be a bit more than 5, because I don't like the blocks to be massive. Okay, so that should be that for this episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we'll do some, we'll, we'll create a character, that, and he'll be able to move around. And then, most likely, the episode after that, we will do block breaking and placing. And then, we'll actually get into picking up blocks and whatnot. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, check out my channel. Because uh, I think, yeah, this is going to be posted on Boris Media Prods. But uh, check out my channel, Vegito and Silver Gaming and whatnot. Uh, I will probably, I, I might put some tutorials up there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyways, yeah, see you in the next episode.